In that first three minutes that Nintendo showed us of the Nintendo Switch, they showed something that got a lot of people excited. They showed Skyrim running on the Switch. Now, when originally asked for comment, whoever was responding to the question uh, from Bethesda, who is the company that brings us games like Fallout 4 and Skyrim, uh, they responded with, we don't have anything to announce at this point. Well, Glixel.com, they tracked down uh, Todd Howard, who is the head guy over at Bethesda, and they were interviewing him and asked him uh, point blank, what do you think of the Nintendo Switch? Uh, He said that he loved it. He has actually been able to play one, which is really interesting. Um I like that he, uh, having had one in his hands and actual playing it, uh, he said that that he wasn't sure what he could and could not say under NDA, but he said that he loved it. Uh, He also said it was one of the best demos he had ever seen. And then he said, probably the best demo I ever seen at E3. I'm not sure what he means at E3. Like maybe he's seen better demos in other places, but at E3, he's never seen a better demo. Which is a little weird because, uh, yes, first off, uh, E3 is supposed to be a show that is for the, um, the industry, not for fans like us. So I'm sure that Nintendo was there, uh, probably in a hotel room someplace, and they made appointments with people who uh, they wanted to attract to the platform to, to show, hey, this is what we're working on. Uh, but regardless... Um, Todd Howard says that this is one of the best demos he's ever seen and that he's actually had the thing in his hands. That's awesome. Um, then the interviewer said, was it a Nintendo game that you played? And he said, I mean the device itself. I think it's really smart what they're doing. We're definitely going to be supporting it, which is really important because first off, Bethesda was not on that list of companies that were going to be supporting the switch or that were partnering with Nintendo to support the switch. So it's big that Bethesda is now saying, yes, we are supporting it. And this is coming from Todd Howard, who I think a lot of gamers put a lot of trust in, especially with the way that they've nailed uh, Fallout 4. Um, He said, it's the first time that we've done something on Nintendo, if you don't count the old NES stuff, like Home Alone and Where's Waldo, which made me laugh because I didn't realize that that Bethesda was the company that made those... uh, those horrible games. Um, and then uh, the the interviewer said, can you really bring Skyrim with you on the go? And he said, it is the same game on the TV and on the other screen. Again, that's a weird way to phrase it, uh, but it seems like when you are playing Skyrim, it doesn't matter uh, if you are hooked up to your big TV or if you are playing it on a bus, uh, you're going to be able to play Skyrim on the go. And that's really cool. And I'm really excited to hear that. That is um, exciting news for the Switch. Because if the Switch is attractive enough to a developer like them, who have previously ignored Nintendo consoles, uh, then that means a lot of developers are probably going to find it an attractive platform. Now, what is he looking for? This is the real question. What is it that Todd Howard is looking for when he... Uh, or when his company Bethesda decides what's gonna, or what platforms do we want to support? The number one thing that he probably looks for is, can I just port something over to here easily without having to do a whole lot of extra work? And because this Nintendo has moved back towards a more, I won't say traditional, but a more, um, widespread, that's not the right word either, a more, I guess traditional is is the word that I'm going to have to use for now. But now that Nintendo is really matching the controls uh, that the other uh, companies are using on their consoles, that makes it a lot easier for uh, companies like Bethesda to support the system. That means they don't have to invent a new control scheme just because when you're playing, uh, you don't have uh, the right thumbstick or... Um, 
there's motion controls and things like that. Now, things that I hope are built in when Skyrim comes to the Switch, which I will buy. This will this will be the third time that I've bought Skyrim, and I'm okay with that because Skyrim is a really good game, and the idea of being able to play it uh, wherever I am is awesome. Um, plus, I haven't bought the up version, so... You know, it, it seems like a win-win for me. I bought it on the 360, and I bought it on the PC, and um, I played it on both. I didn't beat it on either, uh, but on the Switch, I, I like the idea of being able to take it with me. Um, so, like I was saying, one of the things that I hope they add is I hope that they add in motion controls, kind of like Zelda uses in um, Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, uh, when you're aiming with the bow or the slingshot or the uh, hook shot, uh, you can use motion controls to help you aim, and it makes it so much easier. It's way better than using a stick. And the idea of using a, a bow in Skyrim like that or even casting spells, I think that would be really, really cool. My one gripe with this, not really gripe, but my one moment of hesitation is... Let's say that we've got Skyrim on the Switch, and let's say that they've got motion controls enabled. If I'm playing on the go, is it harder for me to aim if I'm moving my screen around? The thing about when I'm playing on my TV is when I'm moving the controls around to better aim with the hook shot in Zelda, for instance, I'm not looking at the thing that I'm moving. I'm just looking at the screen and I'm moving, um, I'm moving the controls around and that makes it a lot easier for me to make sure that I'm, uh, aiming correctly. If I'm trying to aim and I'm tilting the, the screen away from me, that might make things a little bit more difficult for me to get the right thing, the, the, the right aim. So we'll see, uh, how they implement that. Uh, and that's something that I'm worried about with Splatoon as well. Uh, when they bring Splatoon to the Switch, are they going to bring in that motion control? And if so, how is that going to work with the motion control if I'm looking down at my screen and I'm moving my screen, my screen to aim? It might make it hard for me to see what I'm aiming at. It's just a concern I have uh, with motion controls for this particular console. Uh, that being said... I think that this is really exciting news, and if um, if Bethesda is going to be supporting uh, the new Nintendo platform, then I'm going to bet that we're going to see a lot of excitement from other third-party developers around the Switch. <laughs> 